We know that when we do a slip stitch that it does an arcing and it arcs in the direction of the angle of the hook. Okay, so it goes in this way. So in order to do that, you can only do this when the first stitch in the round is the one that's doing the increase because we wanna change that number. So for example, they're telling us that they want two double crochet in the very first stitch. So whether you decide to do option two or three as far as starting it or whether you decide to do a chain three, you'll have to make sure that there's gonna be only one double crochet in there and not two as it's stating. So I'm gonna do the two chains, doesn't count, and instead of putting two double crochet in there, I'm only gonna put one. So in this particular round, there's supposed to be two double crochets in each one of these stitches, but what I wanna do is that I wanna change the last one to compensate for the one that's missing right here. So let me just get around. And so whenever the first stitch starts off with the increase, you wanna uh, eliminate that one that you're supposed to increase it and add it to the end of the round. And I'll be right back in a moment. So in coming up around, there's supposed to be only two double crochets into this last stitch before we join it. The problem is, is that we ignored that there's supposed to be two double crochet in the very first, there's only one. So we want to add the extra one right here on the last stitch. So the last one will technically have three double crochets in instead of two. Then we're going to join it then to the top of the first double crochet or the top of the first chain. So what this is doing is that it's keeping the slip stitch in a straight line. So every time you do that, when it's doing the increase, then you can play with that to make sure that there's an extra stitch at the end. So there's still the right amount of stitch work that was required for this round, but because we added an extra one at the end and we eliminated one here, it keeps this slip stitch from wanting to curve. So it just keeps it in a straight line. So what happens if you are deciding that you want to uh, no longer do an increase and you don't want that curving to happen, that's going to be in the next video.